Hi, Dolly. When Dolly was a toddler, she was very curious and inquisitive. I didn't think that um, her being curious was going to lead to her winding up in hospital fighting for life. The first strange symptom I noticed was Dolly was vomiting, uh, especially after having food. And then I noticed a gargling from her throat. When she was talking, it wasn't my child. She sounded like a little croaky old man that had been smoking for a long time. I love you. I took her back to the doctors several times over many months. I would point here and to my chest and say, something is happening here. Something is going on with my daughter. Who is that? Honestly, I felt like they thought I was crazy. Is it Tracy? Over several months, Dolly name? just got sicker and sicker. What do you want to call her? She really started to deteriorate at home. Do you want to call her baby Polly? I put her in the car, took her straight to emergency. They tried to discharge us and I said, no, we're not leaving. It took a couple of days for them to do an x-ray and when they did, they found a button battery lodged in her esophagus. And this is the battery. So she got the button battery from this remote that was in the TV cabinet. Dolly told me she put her palm on it, turned it, and she said it popped out. When doctors told us it was a button battery, my heart sank. I knew that they were very dangerous and that children had lost their lives from it. I honestly thought my little girl was next. In Dolly's case, the battery took a long time to erode her esophagus because it was almost flat. When they eventually found it, they said another 24 hours and it would have been catas catastrophic. It's been two years now, but she's had six surgeries and she will have ongoing health problems. What school do you go to? She has been to Hell and Back through what she has experienced. But the crazy thing is, we are one of the lucky ones. Whoa. <laughs> Grab this rope. <laughs> Dolly, you did it.